Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I have a match in the Gaz L. Now, this is one of the newer event suits. It was released uh, Wednesday. This is the Raid variant. Now, uh, this is my first match in it, and I've done other matches with the suit. And I must say, the I feel like the Lance is better for space. While the, uh, while the, uh, beam knocking out a double saber thing on my bob is better for ground. Uh, that's just my experience. I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna have their own experience. And this is also my first melee charging suit, so, um, yeah, with that, because I wasn't, I didn't know what the angle was gonna be. I find this suit kind of weird. Like, I really want to like it, but I'm having trouble liking it. Um, you have you have to compare this suit to the gym t uh, gym three close combat uh, suit, and with that suit you can swing the the uh, what's that damn weapon called the uh, uh, my brain just stopped working. Well, you can swing it's be there it is the beam javelin multiple times. You can swing it like two or three times. I'm pretty sure. But with this suit, you can only swing its heat lance once. I find that weird. Uh, but you do have the sub weapon of a beam saber that you can swing twice, which is nice. But you can't swing the heat saber multiple times. But you, uh, but with the double beam, the Naginata beam saber connect thing, you can swing that three times, and it has a full second cooldown, faster cooldown. And that was just me trying to get my weapons, like, I don't know, I just find it weird. Um, but yeah, no, the lore-wise, the, the Gaz L and R are modified Gold Baldies, Gold Baldy Betas. Um, and they're, they're alright, they, I kind of find it weird, they chose to, uh, Zia Axis decided to go with such a old design. At this time, I mean, it was upgraded, but I just kind of find it the, uh, find it weird they decided to go with this design over, say, like something more versatile or that would be better off for uh, for the current time period. <sighs> but yeah, otherwise, it's it definitely is a fun mobile suit. Like I like I said, I want to like it, but it just feels weird. Like the fact that the lance only swings once. I just find that weird. But, uh... Yeah, and the reason I think it's better with the Lance in space is because you you can bully the shit out of full armor 7... I mean, the full armor, uh... Full, uh, full armor Thunderbolts rather easy because that heavy attack just goes right through them. It doesn't matter how many shields you have, that the heavy attack goes right through. So I, th I find that funny. As you see, I've been bullying that full armor... Thunderbolt quite a bit this match and I'll just hit it with the heavy attack and I go right through his shield so it doesn't matter how many shields you've got the heavy attack is gonna stop it but I mean really that's its only it's its only gimmick and uh, outside of that like on the ground you're better off using the the Naginata because you have the same about about the same reach with your uh, n neutral as you do with the Lance so and then, you know, the the dual sabers are going to, uh, the dual sabers are going to hit, uh, probably a little bit more consistently than, say, the lance, and plus, you know, those dual sabers have, uh, a three hit melee combo, and you can combo with your standard beam saber, and pretty much keep the pressure on in melee. Uh, the shoulder cannons, you don't see me really using all that much. And that's because they don't stun unless you hit the full volley of three. Unlike the unlike the uh, the general version, which only needs two shots to stun. So it's a bit of a and they they don't really do a whole lot of da damage. I think the most I've seen mine do, and this was in practice mode, and I don't remember if I had parts put on yet, was uh uh. I think 900 to a general, so that's that's kind of poopy. Uh, I hit him, I think. I don't know. 
I hit someone. I hit. I hit the. Got the hit marker. But uh. Yeah, like we lose this one. We 100% lose this one. But uh, it's not because of me. I, I do. I do like top score and top damage by by a metric fuck ton. But it's just like I don't know. Like I mean, I mean, I enjoy it. Like I enjoy using the suit. It's pretty fun. But it's. Feels like it's missing something. Now I feel like it would be in a really good place if it's shoulder stunned at just like the uh, gas R's. I feel like it would be in a much better spot. Uh, it, it can do damage. Don't get me wrong. It can do a lot of damage. But it's it's kind of it's kind of squishy, and I like how you ran into that. But um. Oh, as I like it, I like the design of its backpack. That's a cool-looking backpack, especially with the beam savers over it like that. I mean, it's pretty speedy too. It's not, it's not slow by any means. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. It's weird, but it's a good weird. Oof. I mean, you may think, but you're wrong. Yeah, you bounce one. Yeah, like I said, I just I want to like it, but it just needs I need it needs those beam cannon chains. That's the only time I use them in this match. I find a better use on ground. They're only 300 meters too. If they were 400 meters, if they matched bazooka range, I I feel like this would do better. Also, oof. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of an odd duck. Man, I did not sleep well last night. Up and down, up and down, and up and down. I just couldn't stay asleep. But, uh... Yeah, like... Uh... I can't, to see, I can't wait to see some... What real raid players can do with it. I am definitely not a raid player. But, uh... I, I, I'm practicing, and I'm getting a little bit better with suits I'm not accustomed to. <laughs> I thought I was going to turn a little bit more, but I guess not. Ow. Get off my nuts. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, this is where we'll lose. There's nothing I can do. I ain't got not, a, not enough health. They just snagged up two members, and they're about to kill me and this dude over here, so. It's amazing how much da damage that does, even to a, uh, to a general. But it's, it's not bad. I'll admit it. It's not bad. It's fun. And, uh, you're going to see a lot better showing with this mobile suit with a player who plays Raid on a regular. I don't. Um. But I feel like I did fine for my first sortie in the damn thing. Now, I was telling I was telling a few people how well I did, but I was off. I, I thought I did, a, it was only 135,000 damage I did. But that's not bad for, you know, a person who don't play Raid all that much. 7 and 3. Still came in 3rd. But let's take a look at the Patreons. We have Brandon Markey, O Shipper, Azrael, Casey, Cybaster, Dragon Spartan 90, Gundam Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Clive Maverick, Momoka, Ninja Guy 12, Peter, Strike, Tyler, Spud, Oni Savage, Sue Souls, Trelos, Alimo, Steel Talon, Bad Logic, Minty Robo, Your Boy Burrito, Bird Person, Mysteries Mercenary, Giver Taker, Will St uh wait. Uh yeah, Will Stab, Tally Mea, Sam Banana, Phantom OC, a drunk Zaku, Viscarian. Zianic Ghost, Michael, Bryson, Wolf Lord, Bane Beard, and Dangerous Lee. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. It means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.